Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can configure our Wazoo Manager to receive syslog output. So in this video, we will set up a syslog client uh, and we will set up our Wazoo Manager to be able to receive syslog output from our server. So stick around and we'll jump into it. All right, so as I alluded to in the intro, in this video, we're going to enable a syslog client to be able to forward logs to our Wazoo manager. So our Wazoo manager can be set up to receive syslog output and match that against our rule sets, right? And so, so why exactly would we want to do this? Well, there are some devices such as firewalls, uh, network switches that a Wazoo agent cannot be installed on right so a cisco firewall for example they have their own operating system cisco writes its own operating system for a in this example a firewall right and uh, that isn't something that's running a linux distribution operating system or a windows operating system right their own operating system that cisco has written so th that doesn't mean we can't monitor these with uh with wazoo we can uh but what we'll need to do in order, and uh, firewalls are just one example, uh, network switches, right, uh, is another. Um, so any really networking devices within your network that you still want to receive logs from, right, but you can't install a Wazoo agent on, um, nine times out of 10, those devices will be able to forward syslog output to uh, a syslog server. And so what we can do is then have our wazoo manager receive listen for syslog events and receive them and store them within Elasticsearch so so we aren't blind to logs from network devices or maybe you have some third party cloud service uh, that you and your company are using and they allow you to set up your own syslog output right so if a third party allows for syslog output, right? We could also configure that and point that to our Wazoo manager. And now we're starting to receive logs on devices where we couldn't install a Wazoo agent on, right? Either because maybe we don't own the server, such as like a third party uh, service, or it's a networking device or some other type of device that you have within your infrastructure that is running on an operating system that a Wazoo agent doesn't support, right? So uh, so in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to configure a syslog client on a uh, CentOS 8 box, and then we're going to enable our Wazoo manager to receive this syslog output. And hopefully that all goes well and is clear uh, for you guys uh, to get a good understanding on how you guys could configure this within your own environments. And so in order to do that, we will need to configure a few things. So first on the left here is my just brand new CentOS 8 box. Um, I'm going to install our syslog. Uh, it's a Linux package that uh, you can replicate a syslog client um, onto so that I will be able to forward syslog events to to my to my manager and I'll be able to to replicate that you know in a maybe if you're looking to forward firewall logs uh, within however you access the firewall whether that's through a, a web UI or through a shell whatever their documentation is to set up syslog output uh, you would just follow that to then forward it to to your manager right um, and that's going to be different per firewall, per switch, per <laughs> per vendor, right? So you'll just have to follow their documentation for that. Uh, but this will hopefully give you guys a good understanding of how we configure it on our manager to to receive these alerts. So I'm going to do a yum install uh, our syslog is what the package is called. So I'll go ahead and install that. Uh, say yes. And really, I don't need to uh, do too much config changes on here. So our syslog has a comp file that I'll need to, if I can spell that right, um, I need to make a few tweaks on. Uh, so let me scroll down here. And really, all I'll need to do is just scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to paste 
this guy in and we'll, we'll talk about what this is doing here in a sec. So, so what I'm telling our syslog to do once I start it is forward syslog via syslog. Um, I have the one at symbol here, meaning UDP. Uh, if I had another at symbol here, it would be TCP. Um, syslog usually um, uses UDP for its transportation protocol, uh, but you can enable TCP if you want to as well. And then I specify what server am I sending these events to, right? And so this 192.168.1.178 is my Wazoo manager. So I'm telling the syslog client on this new server here, hey, you're gonna forward your logs to this server who is listening on port 514, uh, which is also the standard syslog port, uh, who is listening on port 514 for your um, for your log forwards, right? So if I save that, and I'll just do a system CTL start our syslog. And so I'm gonna run this logger command to just manually trigger an alert. So I'll do this logger, I'll tail my var log messages and we should see that output here right okay good so this is how i'll be able to replicate an event to our manager but however we still uh, on the manager side the wazoo manager side we we didn't get anything so we still need to configure our wazoo manager to be able to receive these alerts so i'm actually going to go into the web ui because i like using that the best go into management uh, select configuration and you'll be brought here and we can edit the configuration which allows us to edit the osec.conf file on the manager through a much more user-friendly web browser <laughs> right so i don't have to manually go onto the box to to make this tweak and what we're going to do is add a new remote tag so i will copy and paste what i have and then we'll walk through that here in a sec so I'll paste this tag in. Um, I'll kind of space it out to make it a little easier on the eyes. Um, all right, so I'm saying I'm going to set up a syslog connection, right? So if I get onto the manager here and run a netstat-lupnd to list out listening UDP uh, connections, right? You see that we don't have port 514 listening for connections, right? Because I haven't saved and restarted yet. So we're telling the manager that, hey, we're going to start listening for syslog connections. We then specify the port that we want to use to do so. Uh, this could be any port, you know, 514 is the, the standard port that syslog uses. Uh, it could be any port that you decide as long as another process isn't listening on that port. So it needs to be a free port that you have. Um, and if you want to change it from the default, you could specify that here. Uh, the protocol I am setting to UDP. Uh, I could also set to TCP if I want. Um, as I stated a little earlier, Syslog's standard protocol is UDP, uh, but you can enable TCP if you want as well. Uh, we then specify the allowed IPs. So what this is telling the Wazoo manager is, hey, I only want you to accept six uh, Syslog connections from a allowed IP address. And so in this case, I'm just specifying my whole lab environment, right? So uh, you can use net masking as well, so I can specify a range of IP addresses. So here I'm specifying, hey, any IP address that's trying to forward you a log that has an interface of 192.168.1.1 uh, to, to 255. So here I'm specifying any IP address within this range of IPs uh, I want you. I want the Wazoo manager to accept that connection for right. Otherwise, uh, it will say nope. You're not a trusted IP address, so I'm I'm not going to allow you to forward me your syslog events. Right. So here on my uh, my syslog client here, if I run an if config, we see that this IP address 192.168.1.87 fits within this range of slash 24. Right. So when it tries to send a event to our manager, our manager will trust it. And then we specify the local IP, and this is the IP address that it that the manager will listen on. Really, this IP address will just be the IP address of your Wazoo manager. So in my case, my Wazoo manager is running on this server here, so 192.168.1.178. 
So that is my local IP. All right, so that all looks good and we can save. And I will then restart the manager. And now when I run that netstack command again here in a sec, once it restarts all the way, we should see it now listening on port 514 for UDP connection. So I will wait for that to come back. Uh, and that looks good. So if I run my netstack command again, sure enough, we see, okay, now we are listening on port 514 for connections. So that looks good. Um, and that's that means that our Wazoo manager is reading our config file correctly and uh, we don't have any syntax errors or anything like that. And we are now set up to start listening for syslog events. So now if we go into our discover page here to start listing out events, let's see if we can manually trigger one of these guys. So if I get back onto my syslog host, I'll run that logger command. So I'll generate a log within my uh, var log messages and then use syslog to, to our syslog to forward that over. Uh, and so just to prove to you guys that I don't have a manager or an agent on here <laughs> and trying to trick you guys, uh, if I run a start wazoo agent, you see it's not found. Uh, if I run a psox uh, grep for osec, uh, we have nothing running. rpm dash qa uh, grep wazoo, we have nothing. So I do not have a wazoo uh, manager on this guy. I'm going to use syslog and solely syslog to forward the event over to our manager. So if I do this logger command again, run that and if I tail out I have our log messages we should have another entry and sure enough we do okay now if I refresh so now what should have happened is syslog, our syslog should have picked up this entry and forwarded it to our wazoo manager on port 514 right so our wazoo manager now received this syslog event and should now have stored it within Elasticsearch so if we refresh uh, sure enough, we get our log entry here, right? So here we see our log and failed alert that we just manually generated here, right? So that directly matches what we have within our var log messages file, right? And if I see if we can, let's replicate another one. Um, I'll say source is YouTube and Let's do a login for uh, failed for please subscribe. All right, so we trigger that. All right, and now again, what should have happened is syslog should forward it to our manager via port 514. And if we refresh this, uh, sure enough, we should see, yep, we see our message here, right? And this is being done via syslog, right? This isn't done with a Wazoo agent. so which is great and gives us a lot of flexibility. Now we don't have to deploy some other type of seam solution to receive syslog events, right? We can use our already stood up infrastructure being our Wazoo manager to receive syslog logs from devices that we may not be able to install a Wazoo agent onto, right? And gives us a lot more insight into our, especially our networking devices. You know, I would highly advise you guys to set up your firewall to have syslog output and point that to your wazoo managers so you can see events that your firewall firewalls are logging as well right to give you even more insight into what's going on on your network right it's just a quick little tweak within our osec.conf file specifying to the wazoo manager hey i want you now to start to listen for syslog events on port uh, 514 right or could be whatever port that you want to use right so we make this we just add this quick config block and our wazoo manager is now able to receive syslog logs from our devices that are forwarding syslog events 
And I think that'll wrap it up for this video. Um, it was quick and easy, so without too much headache. So hopefully now you guys can start to implement a syslog output for your own use cases. As always, let me know in the comments if you still have any questions or are struggling with, with your setups, and I'll do my best to, to help you guys out. So as always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one.